Hey folks, Justin from Tackle Tactics. Today I wanted to talk to you about what I call the ultimate finesse soft plastic and that's the Z-Man two inch grubs. How do we rig it, how do we fish it? Now you can see there's the two and a half inch grubs there. So people may say, oh, two inch, two and a half inch, why would you bother with the difference in size? But you can see there's a significant difference in the bulk between that two and a half inch plastic and that two inch plastic. So where this two inch plastic excels is when fish are feeding on tiny bait or when fish are feeding finicky. So it's awesome on trout, redfin, brim. It's awesome on species that are feeding on jelly prawns. You know, you might find you th you're seeing jelly prawns flicking and you're, you're fishing a larger plastic and you're not getting any touches. Flick this little guy in and you could be hooked up to tarpon, giant herring, trevally, all different sorts of things that may just be zoned in on those jelly prawns. So it's a really, really good presentation to, to mimic small bait. It's also a good presentation when the bite is finicky and the bite is tough and the fish are feeding on smaller items. You know, They've got no hands, they need to pick the plastic up. If they pick up this tiny plastic, they're picking up the hook as well. So you're a fair chance of, of hooking that fish. Another place where they excel is where there's not a lot of run and the fish have got a lot of time to look at the presentation, look at the lure. So say down in some of those southern brim areas where it's a lake, it's sealed, there's, or there's not a lot of tidal flow in the lake, and that little tiny plastic can excel in those situations as well. So that's our two inch grubs. It is accounted for a ton of different species, the same as its big brother, the two and a half inch grubs, but really, really good on those redfin trout brim. Also carp, where you just want that carp, you know, they're feeding on tiny things, you want them to suck that in. That little plastic has caught some big carp as well. In terms of colours, available in a bunch of popular colours and also the colours that tick off the three colours that I normally look for and carry with me. So we've got our natural presentations like our pearl and our bloodworm. We've got our darker presentations like our pumpkin seed and our watermelon red, our midnight oil. And then we've got our fluoro as well. We've got a bubble gum or we've got a chartreuse sparkle. So you're covered on your, your natural light colours, your darker colours and your fluoro colours. You're also covered with the UV colours as well. So as you run that light across there, chartreuse sparkle, bubble gum, motor oil, uh, midnight oil, motor oil, copper penny, watermelon red, all UV colours. And then we get to our bloodworm, pearl and our pumpkin seed and non-UV colours as well. So not only can you have your mix of those three that I normally fish, you can also have the UV and the non-UV colours in that two, two inch grubs as well. Right, let's get down and rigging it. So in terms of rigging it, it rigs beautifully. So you'll remember on our headlocks, jig heads, if we've got our blue top and the black bottom and it's an L on there, that's our light wire. That's our finesse, headlocks finesse. And our HD has a H or an extra H and it says headlocks HD on there. It's black on the top, blue on the bottom. Well, in our finesse, because a lot of the time we may be fishing light line, light drags, and we're all about hook penetration, so we may go with that fine wire hook, that Gamma Katsu black nickel chemically sharpened hook on that headlocks finesse. And a size two fits absolutely beautifully in that two inch grub. So two inch grubs, size two hook is an easy way to remember that in our finesse. And that's gonna be beautiful for pinning those brim and all that sort of thing. But that is a fine wire hook. So if you're not experienced with your drag and your reel and, and fishing in general, you may wanna opt for the heavy wire hook to start with. As you get more comfortable, then you can step back to that fine wire hook. But that's the Headlocks Finesse in a number two. Perfect for fishing that two inch grubs. There's the age old debate of tail up or tail down. Some people don't care, they run tail sideways, it doesn't worry them. For me, if I'm fishing really light, I run tail down. If I'm fishing heavier, I run tail up. I just find if I'm fishing light and I fish tail up, occasionally, if you're hopping and twitching that, you can get some tangles with the plastic ta the tail around the hook. So I just rig it tail down on the really light stuff, but it comes down to preference. Both will catch fish. So that's our number two in a finesse. I've got it on a number one here as well, so that you can see that on the number one, Headlocks Finesse, you still can fish it on a number one, no problem. The hook is coming up, coming out right at the base of the tail. So it just fits a one in that Headlocks Finesse if you do want a larger hook uh, for taking on bigger species or you, you prefer a larger hook when you're fishing for brim and that sort of thing. So a size two or a size one in a Headlocks Finesse. But 
places like the Blackwood and you know, there's, in WA, there's a bunch of rivers in the areas around Australia where the guys chase the brim and they're fishing tiny finesse plastics to get the bite, but they're fishing in timber and heavy structure and they really got to get that fish out of there. And that's when the HD comes in. So the Headlocks HD is on a heavy wire, mustard black nickel chemically sharpened hook. So it gives you more stopping power. It's still a black nickel chemically sharpened hook, so still got good penetration but it really does give you that extra grunt in terms of extracting fish out of cover and that sort of thing. And also handling species that are more likely to crush or destroy jig heads as well. So in the HD, because it is a different hook, when we step up from that finesse to the Headlocks HD, there is a number four that we've done in that Headlocks HD. So whereas it's a number two and a number one in that finesse, it's a number four and a number two in that HD. And like with our other hooks, the number four fits it absolutely beautifully, rides really nice, and that's my preferred way to fish it. However, you can put that size two in there and pop out right near the tail again. So that size two heavy hook, if you do want a, a larger, heavier hook for larger predatory species. So we're still fishing this tiny little plastic representing a jelly prawn or a, a small worm or a shrimp or something. But yeah, elephants, eat peanuts you know big fish will eat a small lure so that hd hooks allows you to handle those larger fish so that's our standard rigging on our finesse now hd from there i also like to ned rig it so i'll fish it on a tt lures nedlocks jig head so if you haven't seen the nedlocks before it's a mushroom style head and it's designed to increase the stand up presentation so it'll it'll hinge up quicker and then when you're fishing it's always triggering strikes so it's either fleeing or it kicks back up rapidly, like it's defending itself with the little claws and that sort of thing, or it's feeding in the bottom. So it's always triggering strikes. And that's the Nedlocks jig head. So there's a Nedlocks jig head in a size two, which is perfect for these guys. So it's that heavy wire hook again, the mustard heavy gauge. So like on our Headlocks HD, so a size two will fit it, which is available in a 1 15th ounce. So 1 15th ounce, is perfect for brim and fishing around structure and fishing the shallow flats and that sort of thing for, for a stack of different species. And we get that stand up presentation because of the buoyancy of that elastic material, that Z-Man plastic. Also extremely durable plastic as well. So the great thing is you can take on big angry fish with a small plastic and it'll still stand up to them because it's 10 times tougher Elastec. So in our Nedlocks, that brings into play a painted head as well. So the cool thing with the painted head is we can mix and match things up a little bit. So what I like to do is if I'm fishing clear water, really natural environment, picking those tiny pockets on the, on the weed flats and that sort of thing, I'll team a black head up with a natural looking plastic, say a bloodworm or a pumpkin seed and fish those pockets. If I wanna create a little bit more pop to attract their attention, I can go from that black head to a chartreuse head and that's UV reactive, that chartreuse head. So I've added that little bit more pop to attract their attention, but my presentation overall is still fairly natural with that pumpkin seed grubs. And then if I really want a reaction bite and I want it to stand out and fish see it from miles away, then I can team up say something like the UV reactive chartreuse sparkle with that chartreuse head and away we go. So we're, we're using the same plastic and the same jig head, but we're using it in different ways to attract the attention of the fish. From that really subtle natural presentation to adding a little bit of pop to really, really throwing it out there with full UV reactive plastic and jig head. So that's rigging on the Nedlocks. That's a really effective way to fish it. Around structure, on the flats, sand flats. There's also the orange head available so you can create like a yabby presentation as well for fishing the yabby beds. Probably one of the favorite ways that people fish it around our local waters, Sunshine Coast, Gold Coast, fishing pontoons and canals and those sorts of things, they really want to hold the plastic up in the strike zone longer. They want to suspend that plastic and just have it slow fall, you know, drift it in under pontoons. The pontoons are like upside down reefs, all the structures underneath, the brim are feeding up under that pontoon. So they really want to hold that plastic up and slow fall it into the strike zone. So in that case, it's really, really hard to beat the TT Lures Tournament Series HWS or Hidden Weight System. Called a Hidden Weight System because that weight system is on the shank of the hook. So once it's put in the plastic, it's concealed inside the plastic. So it looks really natural, which is cool. And virtually the only thing sticking out of the plastic is the hook. Fish zones in on it, grabs it, they find the hook generally. 
So it's very natural. And the other thing is, is it gives it a nice, slow, natural, horizontal fall. So you can really hold it up and put it, put it in under those pontoons and that sort of thing. So in terms of rigging it and hook size, that's a Gamakatsu hook. The, with the tournament series hidden weight system, you'll see on the packaging where it's got our hook size, it might be a two, it might be a 2H, which is the heavy wire version. So both Gamakatsu hooks, but in a light wire and also in a heavy wire. Not quite as heavy as the mustard heavy wire, but a, an option if you do want absolute maximum penetration with that light wire, or you want a bit more pulling power, extracting power with that heavy hook in there. Both chemically sharpened black nickel hooks, both quality hooks, so you don't have to worry about pinning fish, that's for sure. So that's our two in a light wire. Rigs beautifully on a size two in our light wire and in our heavy wire hook. And then you can also fish it on a size one. And again, like with our headlocks finesse, that size one is about maximum for that two inch plastic with the hook coming right out near that tail there. So if you fish structure that's high in the water column or you're fishing really shallow water up around mangrove edges over the top of the weed and that where you want a really slow natural fall and just want to be able to shake it and spend a lot of time in the zone. You know, you might have fish that hold on one small mangrove edge. You want to spend a fair bit of time fishing right in those mangroves. You might go for that hidden weight system. Otherwise, up around those jetties, pontoons, skipping it into to cover and into structure. Very, very good on that, that slow fall. So check out the hidden weight system. Deadly, won a lot of brim tournaments, effective jig head, especially rigged with that tiny little plastic to get the bite when it's tough. Uh, Pretty cool as well with the two inch. You know, back in the day, if you had have looked at a two inch plastic, you would struggle to get weedless options for that plastic. So again, we may be fishing timber, we may be fishing heavy weed, we might be fishing around structure, and we want to, you still want to use this tiny presentation to get that bite. We do have the weedless option. So a number four L, so you'll see it here on the pack. This is our chin locks, so there's actually no weight listed in there for size, but the hook is a 4L. So that rigs beautifully on that size four, and that allows you to basically flick that in around structure and flick it and twitch it and slow roll it around on the surface if you want that surface bite on that tiny little plastic. So suck those carp in or get a brim taking off the top around the mangroves or get those creek bass going up in underneath the structure, skipping it in under there. So you've got that snag resistance, tiny little plastic clears easily on that hook and you've got that chemically sharpened black nickel hook to pin that fish. So that's, that's a four light in a chin locks. And then you've also got the snake locks option where you'll see the weight listed there. So one twelfth, one eighth. And again, we want that size four. So again, with our snake locks and our snake locks finesse, we can clip the hooks and the heads off, store them separately in a tray if we like, and then clip on the combination that we need in terms of hook and head weight. And again, you can see that plastic rigs beautifully on there. So because it's buoyant, it's gonna sit up and move around and attract the attention of the fish. And our head will get it down into that structure when we wanna fish that deeper structure and bounce it through weed and rubble patches and that sort of thing. Fish bites it, easily clears that 10 times tough elastic plastic because it is super soft and flexible. So they clear that really easily and boom, fish on, away you go. So that's a weedless option with that two inch grubs is with that chin locks or that snake locks jig head. Again, with your snake locks, if you do want to fish that little placky on the top or near the top, you can clip that head weight off and away you go. So there you go. Some UV options, some non-UV, our natural colours, our darker colours, our fluoro colours. We can rig it on that Headlocks Finesse or the Headlocks HD. Throw it on that Nedlocks for that Ned rig, Ned rig style of fishing with that stand-up presentation. We've got our hidden weight for a slow fall and natural presentation around structure and higher in the water column. And we've also got that weedless option. So that all of those rigging options from TT Lures make this Little Z-Man two inch grubs, a deadly presentation on a stack of different species. So if you love your brim, your redfin, trout, or you're chasing bigger fish that are feeding on tiny bait or the bite's really tough, make sure you check out that popular and deadly little plastic from Z-Man, the two inch grubs. All the best with the fishing.